Hey guys, Geraldo here. I'm going to give you seven tips on how to be a better dungeon master. Dungeon master can be a rather intimidating thing, but I think that anybody can do it with the right amount of advice. Coming from someone who's been a DM for several years, four years now to be exact, I think that you'll be able to take at least one great thing from this video. So continue watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, let's kick it off with tip number one. The persona of your campaign. What is the mood of your campaign? Is it a grim campaign? Or is it a happy campaign? Are there a lot of horrible things happening in your world? Or is the world rather fruitful as far as luck comes? The next thing is the status of your world. Is it a rich world or a poor world? Are there a lot of economy issues? And thirdly, for the persona of your campaign, what technology age is your world in? Is it tech heavy? Or is it more of a medieval setting? The advice I have on this issue is choose something that you know a lot about and are comfortable with. This brings us to topic number two. Know your players. How do they play in your game? Have you ever played with them before? Are they aggressive players? Diplomatic? Quiet? These things you need to know when setting your setting up for your world. What classes are the players playing? Present opportunities for them. Give them reasons to play their class well. Do they mesh well together as a player base? Have they played with each other before? If not, what can you do to help them play better together? My advice for this is just to talk to your players. Ask them what they like. Simple as that. My next tip is create lore. Make the world feel old. Make it feel like it's a thousand years old, thousands of years old and create immersion through your NPCs and the tales they tell about the world. Make a nice map. Make sure the design fits the world perfectly. And my advice is make sure to spend a lot of time and energy on the lore before the game even starts. Brings us to our next tip, side tools. What I like to do is I like to create a list of names of NPCs, female and male, way before the campaign even starts. So if I run into an issue where I have an NPC that I haven't even talked about yet come into the game, I have a name fit for them. Keep all dice available at all times. That means 4-sided, 20-sided, 6-sided, it doesn't matter. All your dice available at all times. Keep all care sheets in front of you. If something happens on the spot, you might need to check a character sheet and keep the immersion flowing. And my advice for this, spend 20 to 30 minutes preparing before sessions. My next tip is never say no to your players. Now there's DMs out there who argue about this topic all day, but it's simple. Saying no to your players destroys immersion. It takes away from the setting of the game. If you want your players to fail at something, let them roll for it anyways. Let them feel like they have a chance to win. And my advice on this topic is keep an open mind at all times. Never say no to your players. Now the next tip is actually one of my favorites. Have a good villain. Be original. Everyone has fought the evil necromancer a thousand times. Think of something that no one has ever even thought about fighting before. And make sure it has a catchy name. Use NPCs immersion to boost fear about the character. And my advice for this is just be creative. Be as creative as you can be. And my last and final tip is put time into everything. Don't just blow it off. If you put a lot of time into the lore in the world, make sure you put a lot of time into your villain as well. Time makes everything come together. Trust me, they will notice it. And think hard on all DM decisions. My advice on this, don't forget as a DM, you may run the show, but you are there to entertain your players. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my 7 tips on being a better DM. I do plan on releasing more D&D content and related videos in the future, so stay tuned and please sub to my channel, it helps out. I'm really trying to get started on YouTube. And I feel like I have a lot of offers, so if you want to stick around, I'm sure you'll enjoy most of my content. So yeah, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.